Scan detected. Good morning, cadets, and welcome to the year 3302. You're joining me in the cockpit of a Federation-controlled LACON Explorer. Today, we'll take a quick trip through the system known as Sol. Sol is Latin for sun, and that's where we're headed. We just picked up our nav data from this beacon, so we can start our trip now. This star here is known as Alpha Centauri. It's the closest star to the Sol system. But at 4.3 light years away, it's still no hop, skip, and jump back home. If you tried to fly there at 20,000 miles per hour in your average space rocket, it would take you around 137,000 years to get there. Frameshift drive charging. Thank goodness we have this frameshift drive because I don't have time to waste. Systems are looking good and our data should be loading up in just a second. Everyone brace yourselves. We're about to travel faster than the speed of light. Like all stars, the sun is made up of great amounts of hydrogen, with about 8% helium. We get the word helium from the Greek word helios, which also means sun. All that bright light you see will make its way to the Earth in about 8 minutes. And thank goodness, because it provides the energy required to keep our way of life from falling apart. This is Mercury, the closest planet to the sun. Mercury has more craters than any other planet in the Sol system. The surface is similar to that of the Moon. Mercury isn't geologically active and can't heal itself after impacts with asteroids and comets. Mercury takes the shortest time to complete one full orbit around the Sun. As a result, a year on Mercury is only about 88 days on Earth. Venus is the second brightest natural object in the Earth's sky. The Moon is the only other natural object that is brighter. Venus is also the hottest planet in the solar system, with an average surface temperature of 863 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, Venus doesn't tilt on its axis, so it has no seasons either. So, when it's hot, it stays hot. In the year 3302, Mars has long been terraformed and populated by space colonies. The Martian surface is home to both the largest known volcano, Olympus Mons, and the largest known canyon, Valles Marineris, in the solar system. Olympus Mons is three times the height of Mount Everest, and to grasp just how big Valles Marineris Canyon is, it would stretch from the east to west coast of the United States. Although the rings of Saturn and Uranus are well known, most people never knew Jupiter had its own rings. Jupiter's rings are primarily composed of dust, which makes them difficult to see. The ring's material is believed to be mass ejected from its moons. Jupiter also has a great red spot. It's a storm that's been raging for a very long time. This storm is so wide that two Earths would fit inside of it. The rings of Saturn are the most easily visible in the Sol system. They are mostly tiny ice particles with some dust and other material. Ice is very reflective of sunlight which makes them easy to see with telescopes on Earth. Saturn also has the fastest winds of any other planet in the Sol system. Winds that have been measured up to 1100 miles per hour. Uranus is often referred to as the ice giant. Uranus has an icy mantle which surrounds its rock and iron core. The upper atmosphere of water, ammonia, and methane ice crystals give Uranus its distinctive pale blue color. Many believe a collision may have caused the unusual tilt of Uranus's axis. The theory is that an Earth-sized planet may have collided with Uranus which forced its axis to drastically change. 
The climate on Neptune is extremely active. Large storms and high-speed solar winds whip around the planet up to 1,300 kilometers per hour. The largest storm recorded was the Great Dark Spot in 1989, which lasted for about five years. Neptune also has a smaller storm called the Small Dark Spot. The storm is about the same size as Earth's moon. As we make our trip to our final stop, we see Earth's moon. The rise and fall of the oceanic tides on Earth are heavily influenced by the moon. That's a big important job. You may want to start saying your goodbyes though, because the moon is drifting further and further away from us each year. About 3.8 centimeters to be exact. It's not really that much though, and it'll take about 50 billion years for you to even notice. Earth is the densest planet in our solar system. The large amount of oxygen on Earth comes from our plant life's consumption of carbon dioxide during photosynthesis. Earth has a powerful magnetic field. The field protects the planet from solar winds and is believed to be a result of the nickel-iron core of the planet combined with its rapid rotation. The Earth also has an ozone layer which protects it from harmful solar radiation. This shell is a special type of oxygen that absorbs most of the sun's powerful UV rays. It looks like we're coming up to our home station. Prepare for rapid deceleration. Looks like we made it. Welcome to Abraham Lincoln Station. Lake on Delta Romeo Sierra. Federal Flight Control Channel open. Observe docking protocols if you wish to land. Lincoln Tower, Lake Hon Delta, Romeo Sierra. Roger, we will announce landing requests. Thank you. It really is an amazing thing of beauty. Just the sheer size of our solar system is mind warping. Just think of all the stars that are up there in the sky that we haven't even seen yet. Scan detected. Navigation system boot sequence engage. Lincoln Tower, Lake Con Delta Romeo Sierra, requesting VFR clearance to land. Request approved. Assigned to landing pad 15. Delta Romeo Sierra cleared landing pad 15. Thank you. Thank you.